In today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about the brushes that I use when I paint with gouache. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Shivani and I'm an artist and entrepreneur based in the sunny city of Chennai in the south of India. So the brushes that I use are applicable for both watercolor as well as gouache painters. I know that a few people like to keep their watercolor and gouache brushes separate, but for the style of work that I do, I find that it's perfectly fine to use the same brushes for both media as long as you clean them out well which by the way I recently released a video on cleaning and caring for your brushes I'm linking to it up here in case you want to check that out okay so these are my Princeton brushes which are my more expensive brushes which I invested in one by one I was very careful about what I was buying and why I was buying it so firstly let's talk round brushes so this is a Princeton heritage round brush in size 6 I started with the size 6 before this I was using uh, what brand is locally available here which is Camlin so we get Camlin very easily in India it's a budget brand if you're not ready to invest a lot of money it is so cheap whereas the Princeton brushes each one of them can be anywhere from 300 rupees to 1000, 1500 even and also by the way I'm linking to all of my materials that I'm speaking about in the description in case you'd like to check them out and for customers in India if you shop with Hindustan Trading Company which is one of the best art supply destinations here you can use my code SHIVANI10 to get 10% off all the details are in the description so let's come back to it now like I said this is my size 6 round brush I also then invested in a size 4 and then a size 2 so these are the three sizes that I would recommend having especially if you do a mix of larger scale and also intricate work what I love about all the sizes of Princeton is that they come to a really nice tip even when I'm using a size 6 I can easily use the tip of the brush to create very thin lines and details so I love that about Princeton when I was working with the budget brand it was perfectly fine like I have no complaints I think for the price I was able to do a lot the bristles have a good bounce to them as well the only thing that I really struggled with especially because I was learning to do watercolor florals at the time I was not able to get it to a fine tip and I was trying to emulate all these artists that I was seeing online and I was looking at tutorials and I just thought there was something wrong with me or with my technique and I'm not able to get those tips like they are and they get these beautiful like thin lines and then they press it down and the bristles spread and they get this beautiful strokes out of it and I was not able to do that so I was very intimidated because of it. But I want to tell you guys fear not it's not you <laughs> getting a better brush will make all the difference in the world so whenever you're ready for it I would recommend investing in one slightly more expensive brush so as I was discovering my own art style I would invest in brushes that made sense for me so I would highly recommend doing that rather than spending a whole bunch of money all at once and then regretting it because you don't end up using them if you also need to do bigger strokes then I would recommend having one larger brush in a size 10 or 12. Now in terms of brush shapes let's talk flat brushes. So in flat brushes there are a few different types that you need to be aware of. Again even with this I have been using budget brands as well and here the difference that you're going to notice is similar to the round brush in the way the bristles come back to shape and before we get into that I also wanted to tell you that there are a few different types of flat brushes when you go to buy one from print which I did recently and I got a little confused I was trying to understand the difference so this one is a wash brush you also get something that's called a stroke brush and then you also get one that's called a flat shader so it's important for you to understand the differences between them before you pick them up you'll see that the stroke brush has much longer bristles whereas the wash brush is a little shorter and you can create larger washes of color using this it also I think gives you more control on the bristles as well I just looked at all of them and I looked it up on Princeton's website and then I made the choice that a wash brush would be perfect for my needs so that's the only flat brush that I invested in now what's great about an expensive flat brush is that again the bristles come to a fine tip so you can also use it to create line work 
that's something we don't even think of doing regularly with flat brushes but it's a possibility whereas when you look at the more budget brands you wouldn't be able to do that the bristles won't even come to that fine tip and it won't retain shape in that way for you to be able to do something like that now there are two other types of flat brushes or shapes of flat brushes one is an angled one and this is a filbert so the filbert is similar to a flat brush but it has a rounded shape on the top so you can get some very interesting strokes with it so it's great for very specific applications things like florals and with watercolor as well it creates some beautiful strokes and i think this artist called jenna rainey did a beautiful video on filbert brushes i'm going to link to that in the description because i think that would be helpful for you to check out in case you are planning to buy a filbert brush and then an angled brush the difference between a flat brush and an angled brush is that an angled brush can easily fit into nooks and help you cover those spots if you need to put in color there whereas a flat brush is fully flat so it's tough to fit that into smaller areas whereas you can do that with an angled brush it's definitely useful to have both in your collection but again even with angled brushes i started off with budget ones i very recently bought this angled brush in fact I have not even used it yet. <laughs> uh, waiting for the perfect opportunity to use it. Maybe I'll do a full video on that. Let's see. And the final brush that I wanted to tell you about. Again, picked this up very recently. I haven't even removed this plastic casing that, that it came in. But I will do the honors right now. <laughs> this one is a liner brush. And this is great for creating very thin line detailing so as you can see the bristles are really long it picks up a lot of paint so that's what i love about using an angled brush instead of just using like a small sized round brush with which you can get the same result of doing thin lines but a liner brush i feel gives you a lot more control with your lines and also it picks up a lot of pigment so it goes a really long way and when i do traditional indian art style illustrations like Chwai or Kalamkari style paintings. I use liner brushes a lot in that kind of work. So those are all of the different brush shapes that I use. I hope this helps you decide what you can pick up for yourself. Let me know in the comments what your favorite brush shapes are from what you're currently using and if you're planning to buy any of these shapes let me know about that as well. If you have any further questions about your brushes, art supplies or working with gouache, drop a comment and I will consider it for a future video. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, my handle is right here and there's a link in my description for you to download my free resource where I explain all the top questions that I get asked about working with gouache. So definitely check that out, it's going to be very helpful if you're planning to get started with gouache. The link is in the description like I mentioned, go ahead and and download that if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe i'm going to be putting out a lot more interesting content in the weeks to come and i will see you guys in the next one bye